Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 10. In this system, you can see we have three forces act on this wheel with different runners, right? F1, F2, and F3. The runners is R1, R2, R3. Now, can you find the torque acted by these forces? Sure. How can we do that? First one, we use the right hand rule to, to determine the direction for this torque, right? You can see for R1, for the first one, the radius is given R1, and we assume the torque for F1 is positive. So it will just uh, counterclockwise this one, right? The torque is this one. You can use the right hand rule, your four finger is this one, and rotate in this side. So your another finger pointing up, pointing out. So pointing out is positive. Now similarly, you can use your right hand rule to determine the position, the direction for the torque 2 and torque 3, you find they are negative. Now, the torque applied by these forces is this one, but the forces is F1, R1 minus F2, R2 minus F3, R3, you get it there. And also, the friction torque is given at zero, and it's up. It's with the opposite direction with the motion, so it is negative side, right? So that makes the net torque equals the torque by this force minus the torque by fraction. Fine, you get the final answer there. Thank you.